Hello everyone, today we're watching some more episode Korra. This episode is episode 6, it's called And the Winner Is. Let's watch The Legend of Korra. Thank you guys for being here, hope you guys are enjoying so far. I can't believe we're only on episode 6. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, enjoy. But the Avatar has still been hard at work, leading the underdog Fire Ferrets to the pro-bending championship finals. Only one team stands in their way, the Wolf Bats. Okay, so championship match today? Exciting. Good morning, citizens of Republic City. This is Amon. Oh no. I am calling on the council to shut down the bending arena and cancel the finals. Or else... We need to get to City Hall. Well, maybe there... Maybe we won't do the championships today. You can't cancel the finals. I know winning the championship means a lot to you, but as far as I'm concerned, we need to shut the arena down. Tenzin and I agree for once. Oh boy. Right now, the arena is the one place where benders and non-benders gather together in, in peace to watch benders beat each other up in peace. <laughs> but you're ignoring the reality of the situation. The reality is, if you close the arena, you let Amon win. I see both sides of the argument here. This is a tough one. This meeting is adjourned. <gasps> what the heck is that? Oh, hi. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with the Avatar. So much for a closed meeting. Just anybody can waltz in here, huh? Let us hear what our esteemed chief of police has in mind. Boom. <laughs> My metal benders and I will provide extra security during the championship match. Are you saying that you will personally take responsibility for the safety of the spectators? I guarantee it. I am changing my vote. Who else is with me? Oh, wow. Good luck in the finals. All right! Yeah! That was you. a quick turnabout. And good luck to you, Chief Beifang. Something weird's going on. Don't want to see you get hurt. You don't need to babysit me. It's for Cora. Do what you want. It's not like I've ever been able to stop you before. I wanted to thank you for your help. What is her deal? That's what I want to know. I'm afraid her issues are with me. It all makes sense now. You two were a couple. What? Oh. Huh? Where'd you get that idea? Ha! Your wife. So, Pema stole you from Beifong. But what does that have to do with Cora? We both had different goals in life. Why am I even telling you this? <laughs> it all happened a long time ago, and we've it moved past it. It doesn't seem like you guys have. <laughs> They're keeping the arena open. Perfect. Everything is going according to plan. Well, I don't like the sound of that. How is the security sweep going? Fine. Now leave me alone and let me do my job. It'd be nice if we could help each other out, at least for one night. Like old times, I'll try to be less abrasive than usual. Aw, she's had this broken heart for how many years? Oof, she is bitter. Fire ferrets! <laughs> Those people cosplaying as them? <laughs> Bleh. He's so talented. He is. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. I mean Yeah. It's very like Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna knock Tano's stupid hair off his stupid head. He's got pretty good hair. Whoa. Tano gets a little too worked up and unleashes a deluge on Bolin that will certainly elicit a foul. Oh, apparently not. Oh, rigged! Rigged! Ming trips up Paco with another dirty trick. Oh, come on, refs! <laughs> that wolf bat blatantly bent a disc outside of his zone. Ah, uh, so they can't. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice combo. Looks like Tano snuck in an illegal icing move. Oh, but it was illegal. I don't know what match the refs are watching, but it's obviously not this one. Well, what the heck? I mean, I knew that they would play dirty, but man, this is pretty blatant. It's a knockout! The Wolf Bats win the championship. Wait, what? After when? The ferrets are still alive, but just barely. Hot damn! 
the underdog survived to see round two. So they can win it in one What's round? They've been paid off. It's the only explanation. Round two. But once again, Tano sneaks in a little ice to get the upper hand. Well, how can they just... Those look like illegal headshots to me. Hello? Round two will be decided with a tiebreaker. Let's go. You and me, pretty boy. Thought you'd never ask. Kick his ass, Cora. Come on, little girl. Give me your best shot. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Oh, we're getting the replay? Round two goes to the fire ferrets. I don't really watch sports that often, but if the referees like don't call fouls that are like super obvious to everybody watching, does they we just have to listen to what they say? Like she's tough as nails. You two might get along if you would only give her a chance. Hmm. The champs are really starting to find their rhythm now. Can the ferrets hang in there? Ooh, they do have some nice moves. But it looks like Tano and Ming are up for more shenanigans. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this has gone too far. That water had rocks in it. Oh, come on. Those were illegal headshots. Open your eyes, ref. For the fourth year in a row, they'll be crowned tournament champion. Anybody else want to scrap with the champs? You guys are sham. Uh oh, almost forgot that this was happening. Ooh. What? Folks, there is some sort of electrical disturbance in the stands. You don't say. One of them is in the booth with me right now, folks. The show must go on. I believe he is about to electrocute me. I am currently wetting my pants. He's dedicated to his job. Uh-oh. Well, you know, these guys might be jerks, but I would not want them to lose their bending. All right. You want a piece of the wolf bats? They're not used to fighting up close and personal like this. Like, they have a lot of pro bending experience. I'll give you everything, just please don't take my bending. Oh no, don't do it. Wow, that face. Oh no. I mean, they are dirty cheats, jackasses, but they don't deserve that. What are these flashbacks about? It seems fitting that you celebrate three bullies who cheated their way to victory. Because every day you threaten and abuse your fellow non-bending citizens. That it only took a few moments for me to cleanse them of their impurity. If any of you stand in my way, you will meet the same fate. <gasps> For years, the Equalists have been forced to hide in the shadows. Well, yeah, because you're a terrorist organization. How are we going to get out of here? Come. Very soon, the current tyrannical... Oh, boo! <laughs> it's time See? Pabu's not just a one-trick poodle pony. Good Pabu. Smart Pabu. My followers and I will not rest until the entire city achieves equality. The revolution has begun! So they, his followers, they have chi blockers, but Amon took away the bending of those wolf bats. Tenzin. This is awful. Oh my god! Yes! Great job, buddy! I'm going after Ramon! Be careful! By yourself? That is so cool. But... It was not enough to reach. Lynn's got her. Nice. 
But this just seems dangerous. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh. Well, this really shows the difference in like preparedness and um, organization that these Amonists, what do they call them again? Man, Lynn is a badass. Looks like we lost this one. Yeah, pretty thoroughly. I'm so glad you're okay. Me too. I played right into his hand. He played us all. Republic City is at war. Man, this show is pretty dark. Okay, so, you know, Republic City, <laughs> we're a little bit behind on our r uh, readiness to be in an all-out war against these people they have been training they've been practicing they've been planning amon's people and they have like this very pinpoint goal in mind that they've been working towards uh for many years i would assume and again republic city has enjoyed relative peace for quite a while it hasn't been in their forefront to defend or to uh, go to war against people of these cal this caliber so i know we're gonna get there but they've really just caught us caught everybody unaware unprepared and they are slowly showing that they are they cannot be ignored and they're really a force to be reckoned with and I wonder what was going on with that pro bending match too. I, I don't think it had anything to do with Amon, but there was definitely something there that we don't want to forget probably as well. How, I mean, maybe, maybe there, it's not going to be brought up again, but something with those wolf bats and being able to cheat like that. What's that all about? Also, with the championship being over and with the arena being completely demolished, it doesn't look like there's probably going to be much pro bending going on. I think things are really going to start picking up with this war against Amon and his people. And Lynn seems really cool. Lynn, at first, you know, she's the only thing you see of her is her being basically a jerk to Korra. But we've learned a little bit more about her relationship, her past relationship with Tenzin. And uh, I liked their chemistry together. I'm not saying that he should leave his wife for her or anything, but they definitely have like this, I don't know, something like they still care for each other deeply. And some of that playfulness is still around, even though, it, you know, it has to be different now. And poor thing, I don't think she's maybe hasn't gotten married or found anybody after Tenzin and I'm not really sure why she took that out on Korra but she seems to be maybe woken up to the fact that she was treating Korra unfairly maybe she didn't even realize she was doing it until Tenzin kind of brought it up so I think things between those three are going to get a lot better and I'm looking forward to that and I do think that'd be about it. Excited to watch more, see where this is going, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the comments, and see you next time. Bye-bye.